Hello YouTube, Ddecken here, and as you can see on my screen, I have gotten both Duel Level Max and my three wins in a row for the 2018 World Championship Qualifier in Duel Links. So this video is basically me going to be talking about the deck I used and, well, my experience with the event overall. Now, the deck I used for the entire event, did not change it at all, was Ancient Gear. And well, <laughs> to be honest, a good handful of my wins were mainly because of luck. Like, whether it was my starting hand had, like, the counter I needed for whatever my opponent had, or my opponent did not start strong, and Ancient Gear being Ancient Gear just kind of ran over their things. Uh, Ancient Gear is definitely a fun deck overall, but I, I can't say, at least with my deck, I can't say that it can consistently beat the top decks. Like, I have, I have gotten a few wins against Spellbook and, uh, Amazons and Sylvans, but not, but for every few wins I ha do have, they have plenty more wins against me. But when it comes to the, uh, kind of the more rogu rogu yeah, roguish decks, I do okay against. Again, a lot of it depends, uh, on the draws. Uh, I don't mind showing off the deck, which, again, that's what I'm doing, but I do have to mention that the deck I'm using wasn't my original creation. Like, back when, uh, Sylvan was the top, was topping the, uh, Casey Cup, I had found a list on, well, I Google, essentially, and I modified it with some of the cards I did have because, well, I'm free to play and I don't have multiple copies of every single card. But the cards I did add, I don't regret. I do not regret. But I will be linking the list I used in the description just to give that person the shout out, give that person the credit, because again, it's not, uh, not something I personally made. But again, I, I don't regret any changes I did make because a lot of the cards I did run just every card in the deck, every single, all 20 cards have had a moment where they've helped or they've pushed or they've given me the win just because just for having them like uh the list uh originally recommended uh two wall disruptions so in replace of that i added a mirror wall and since mirror wall can be flipped in cases where hey true nade or spellbook of fate won because that is a thing i just flipped mirror wall and i survived in other words <laughs> uh like there was even one uh there was one spellbook game where he got a uh, both prophecy and uh, reaper out, and he went for spell book one. And I just flipped mirror wall. Well, actually, no, he had a uh, he had blue boy and prophecy, and he went spell book spell book one. I flipped over mirror wall. He had nothing. I had nothing else, and then he just went uh, power copy power, but wasn't able to finish me off because reasons. He searched fate but couldn't activate it, so I summoned monster and just ran over it. Ran over blue boy and kind of just won like that. Uh, the list originally called for two Gravity Lashes, but I replaced them. But since the Gravity Lashes is more battle-oriented, I replaced it with a uh, Super Rush and Rush Recklessly, which Super Rush doesn't need really a lot of explanation. But Rush Recklessly has has had a lot of a uh, a lot of funny interactions. Like I guess I know it's only like 700, and there's probably like one or two. And this card could probably get replaced with Gravity Lash. But in cases where I was going against monsters that didn't have low defense, or in cases where I just needed like ping over something. Just rush recklessly, just plus 700. Uh, what I also find really funny about this card is uh, if I have a golem with one castle and I attack directly and I just add, reckless, add rush recklessly, that's 4k right there, which happened one or two times. <laughs> uh, very funny. And uh, the only other ma major change that I want to talk about at this exact moment is um, the deck was using three golems, but even now I'm still running into issues where I open up golem and then I open up, like, nothing else, like, just complete back row, like, all spell and cards. And my opponent either has an immediate answer to castle, or doesn't put two counters on castle right away, or I, I can't draw any monsters, or, and it just, it kind of clogs my head up. But again, I do have, I do technically have answers, but it's one of those I couldn't draw into answers, so I have lost games because of that. But overall, uh, the two MVP cards of the deck, though, do have to go with, again, two cards I did add, and I, again, I ever got nothing. It's, uh... Gravity Blaster and Snipe Hunter. Uh, Gravity Blaster. Gravity Blaster is very simple. It's uh, you equip it to a machine, and then once per turn, you can boost it by uh, 400 permanently. But it's mainly it's a battle effect that everyone seems to forget. Like originally, I added a, I added one copy of this card to replace a like the, the list called for like three chalice. So I replaced one of them with a Divine Wrath and replaced the other one with a Gravity Blaster I had. So I I added it in just to deal with a uh, Kuroshim at the time, but it's, I started having it, and because that boost, that boost 400, 
became so relevant just for making big monsters, I almost always wanted to see Gravity Blaster. So eventually I dropped the second castle because, well, again, it, uh, it only boosts 300. It only boosts 300, and with not being able to always get to Golem, just, I added, uh, I got a glossy Gravity Blaster, and I just I started playing it. Like, one castle plus two turn gra Gravity Blaster on a knight turns that thing into a 2900 attack point, battle negating, spell and trap card prevention, just beat stick. It's just, it's kind of funny. Like, there was, um, there was even one game where, like, I believe my opponent was just playing Temple of the Mind's Eye, just trying to stall with, uh, stall with back row and, uh, Golden Ladybug, which, again, Ancient Gear doesn't, doesn't mind, and I was only dealing a thousand, but I had it equipped to will, uh, Ancient Gear Knight, so I was just boosting it every turn, and eventually I drew, a uh, Snipe Hunter, which I'll be talking about in a sec, and I just drew Snipe Hunter, just destroyed Temple of the Mind's Eye, and my, my knight was at, like, 4200 at the, at the moment, so I just, I tacked a game, which, it's, not to, um, like I said, many people kind of forget what this card does. It's mostly Destiny Hero, though, where, like, Destiny Hero Celestial will try to attack to get rid of my, uh, castle, and, you know, they'll just mass change into Anarchy, but they go to attack, and Grand Blaster negates Celestial right there and then, and it, it uh, <laughs> or, um, against Amazon, there was a, there was one duel where they had a Fighting Spirit up, and they had Tiger, Tiger with two monsters, which... And I had a knight with one boost off Gravity Blaster. So it was 25, and they had their uh, their tiger at 19 and Fighting Spirit, which if it attack if uh, Amazon attacks, a weaker Amazon attacks a, strong, a stronger monster, it gains 1,000. In other words, it's a skyscraper. So what he was going to do, he was going to take his uh, tiger, he was going to attack my knight for 29, run over, and then just run, over, run me over the other two monsters. But the minute he attacked, Gravity Blaster negated uh, tiger's effect, would put it back down to 11, and then at the... Uh, Fighting Spirit boosted to 22, but my knight was 25, so it died. <laughs> and he just sat there for a few minutes, like, and it just kind of just raged at that point. <laughs> just Again, Gravity Blaster, yes, it does take up back row, but it puts in work, and I love it. It's not to mention if you do run into against a, a wall disruption or something. Like, if you wall disruption one, if you already have one boost, next turn you just take the monster back to his original attack points. Or if you have, like, two or three boosts already on it, it just it knocks it down a few boosts. But otherwise, it's just, it puts in work, it's really fun, and in situations where I can't really use it or I draw too many, there's, I can either Divine Wrath and discard it, or I can use the other card I, I added, which uh, is Snipe Hunter, and there are times, I've, um, I've been trying to upload, like, replays of some of the duels I've had in the World Championship Qualifier, and, like, two or three of those replays I've uploaded were basically me opening Snipe Hunter and just, just basically winning, just because I can just... Like, originally, um, the list called for two Sergeant Electro, which I only had the one, so I originally replaced the other one with a uh, Cyber Gymnast, which basically you discard a card to uh, pop an attack position monster. But then I replaced it with uh, Crone the Mage, which is uh, you discard a spell card to pop back row, because back row is giving me a problem. And then eventually when I got Snipe Hunter, it was basically both those cards but with a 66% chance and not once per turn. Which makes this card really stupid, especially in situations where my opponent's just going to get rid of Castle right away, or I open up with uh, two golems and don't really care. So I just summon Snipe Hunter, just pop row, pop any problematic cards that I can deal with, and just run over everything else. Just It's become... like I don't want to say Snipe Hunter.tech with Ancient Gears, it's just... <laughs> It's, again, it's one of the two MVP cards of the deck, just because it does put in the work. And I love it. Like I said, I love it for it. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of the deck. It's it's fairly straightforward. I mean, two golem, three knights, two soldiers, just... Uh, the problem is, if I were to change this deck up, I'm not sure how to change the deck up. Like, I did a... I recently got Vision Hero Witch, but I don't think I've run enough trap cards to qualify... This specific list to qualify for it, but... It's a good card, other than just Spellbook of Fate, Spellbook of Fate to Spanish. But I'm not sure what other changes to make, so if if you think, if anyone watching this uh, can recommend any changes, let me know in the comments. But again, like, every single card has just put in work in its own, in one way or another, where I don't want to drop any one card, but, I, like, I love every single card. It's it's not that, it's just I wouldn't know what to change out. Um, I guess, ironically speaking, the card that put in the least amount of least amount of work in the deck is uh fullest chal is forbidden chalice but at the same time chalice is still a really good card because it's uh 
it puts a stop to Princess, Kuroshima, Blue Boy, just... Not to mention, it does randomly boost 400 in the worst-case scenario, so... Like, I, I don't know, like... If anyone, like I said, if anyone has any recommendations, let me know in the comments, but... That, yeah, that was kind of this deck. What did you think? And, uh, have yours, has your experience with the qualifier gone... Bleh, gone well so far? And have if you've topped, or what deck are you using? I'm rambling at this point. Just have a good day.